five minutes, some of my favorite data visualizations from the past year. Let's go. So this first data viz uses Google Trends data, but looks at it at a US level and divided up by state. But here you can really see the pattern of how it's changing day by day. Uh, and have, whether it's taking over the whole country or whether it's really staying in a couple of states. So Fortnite everywhere, Baby Shark a little bit. Obviously the House of Haunting Teal and Baby Shark, Red Dead Redemption, Bohemian Rhapsody's obviously just been released. Baby Shark then just takes over and so does Fortnite again. It's, it goes on for a while, so I'll put the link in the description. Great job user V1 Analytics. Next. So this data visualization uses IMDB data and looks at the ratings of every different episode of a TV show within all the different seasons. And you can see at the top with Game of Thrones that it's really, really well rated. Look, I, I love the fact that you can see the last two episodes of every season were actually better than the rest. And you get right to the end and you see that the last season of Game of Thrones was apparently not very good and the Iron Throne is the worst rated episode ever. I actually quite enjoyed the last episode. If you agree, write it in the comments. If you scroll down, you can see all the different seasons and how they rated. Breaking Bad shows that it really wasn't actually a bad episode. Simpsons, you can see how it's deteriorated over time. Friends, this is another one I disagree with because the first few seasons were way better than the last few seasons. Lots to explore, definitely go check this one out. Link in the description. Description? Created by Bo McCready, good job. Next, if you like this and want to see some of the future videos, make sure you subscribe below. So a nice simple one here using comparison to express scale. So what it does is shows you a map of the US, shows you nine states and how the population in all of these is the same as just Los Angeles County. Great job, Albino Interior. Link in description, go check it out. Let's see the next one. No, this can't be true. Okay, this is a bit of a silly one. What this visualization does, it plots Tom Cruise's age in the yellow line. At the bottom, you can see his three wives, how old they were each year compared to him. And apparently he divorced all of them at the age of 33. Thank you for this illuminating insight, EWAT456. Here's a great one looking at music industry revenues over time and where that revenue has come from. Starting in that late 70s, early 80s, where 8-track, I don't even know what 8-track is, vinyl and cassettes were the dominant formats. Then through the 80s, vinyl and cassettes take off. I remember these very well. And then CDs dominate for 20 years. And you can see it really takes the overall revenue of the industry up. And then it hits this peak where Napster came along and then it plummets, it falls dramatically. And then you see when they were getting very desperate with things like ringtones. Why don't people have songs as ringtones anymore? And then downloads, and then you see it really coming up with the advent of streaming, created by the brilliant Charter. Again, link in the description. Next. So why I love this one is because it shows that anyone can make a data visualization and anyone can get the data and original data they want. So this is just data taken from Matt Surley's Instagram followers, but it shows an insight. So if you live in the Southern states of the US where the weather is generally hotter, people would rather be hotter. And if you live in the Northern states of the US where the temperature is generally colder, people would rather be colder. But what it does do is gets you thinking. Do people live in hot states because they prefer the hot weather or do they prefer the hot weather because they live in hot states? Simple, great fun. Thanks, Matt's 41. And we're done. Okay, wait, so if you're not done and you wanna see more, we've actually got loads more data visualizations. You can click on the link on the screen right now and it'll take you to some of the best data visualizations in 2021.